but I'll go ahead and stop sharing my screen and you guys can type any questions you have into the chat. So they might be questions about these animals or ecosystems, or if you just have any questions in general about Thailand or Peru, you can ask those questions too. If you want to ask us questions about food um, or travel or music or dance, you can ask those questions too. So um, I will let Sarah and Michelle answer your questions and we'll give you a minute or so to type some of those questions into the chat. Um, Ava wants to know if you've ever, if either of you have ever seen a pink river dolphin. I don't know if they have pink river dolphins in, in Thailand or in Peru, but have you ever seen pink river dolphins? I've been in the Amazon, um, but I've never seen one. Yeah. Have you, Michelle? I've never seen one either. Me either. Yeah, she thinks they are from the Amazon. That's a good question. You're right. I think so too. Um, what kind of clothes do people wear in Thailand, Sarah? Sure. So um, they wear a lot of the kind of everyday clothes that we might wear, things like shorts and t-shirts. Um, but for traditional clothing, um, I'm not sure, I don't know what the name is, um, but there's a dress that women wear for formal occasions like weddings or ceremonies. Um, it's a long skirt that goes down to their ankles. So oh, um, they wear like long skirts that go down to their ankles with um, a shirt underneath. And then they have kind of a, a wrap that goes around the front, kind of like a, a what would you call it, Liz? Like a, a sash. It's like a sash that goes around the front. And then um, for these ceremonies, they'll usually have their hair up and kind of a hairdo. So it's not hanging down. Good. Um, let's see. Um... Calissa wants to know how you got those pictures close up. So were those your pictures or those, were those pictures that you guys found um, online? Yeah, mine were all from online. Yeah, sadly, we didn't take. Yeah, but usually if you, um, for people who photograph animals for a living, they have these really huge cameras. So you can stand really far away from the animal and get a picture that looks like you're really close. Um. See, Miss Barsanti's class asks, are there dolphins in Peru or Thailand? I think there are dolphins in the Amazon. Mm -hmm. I believe there are some off the coast of Thailand, um, but I don't think they're going to be the pink dolphins that somebody asked about earlier. Um, <clears throat> Diego wants to know more about how they dye the wool for the... Um, alpacas and the llamas. So I don't know if you know much about the dyeing process, Michelle, or if you have anything else you want to tell us about the wool that they make. Well, I think they get pigments from like the earth. Like I know they get like pigments from like clay or they get like special cloth dyes. And they just like, they spin the fiber until you get it like really thin. And that's when you like soak it, you kind of like boil it in a way. So that way dye like soaks in the wool. Good, yeah. yes, you can use natural dyes. Um, Miss Davis's class wants to know what kind of foods they eat in both countries. So you could maybe tell us a, a couple popular foods in Thailand and Peru. Sure, we had a presentation on this early in the semester. So maybe that'll be up on YouTube soon for you guys to watch. Um, but in Thailand, some popular foods, curry is a really popular food. I think somebody said maybe their dad's been to India. They also have curry in India. Um, and so it's going to be a little bit of a different kind of curry in Thailand, but that's one thing that's really popular. Um, they have rice with pretty much every meal in Thailand. Um, I'm kind of blanking on other food. Oh, they eat a lot of mango. Um, one of my favorite desserts is mango and sticky rice. Um, so it's literally just mango and like really sweet rice, um, but that's a dessert that I really like. And in Peru? Um, in Peru, they eat a lot of chicken and corn. They have a lot of different types of corn and a lot of different kinds of potatoes. I think they have over like 400 different kinds of potatoes in Peru. Yeah, they have different colors in some countries in South America than we have here. There's purple potatoes, I know, in some places in, in South America. I saw, I found them one time at Trader Joe's, so sometimes you can find them here. Um, Let's see. Charlie wants to know if you were ever spit on by a llama. So you said you were spit on by something, right, Michelle? Or you just saw? Well, I think one of my classmates were ah. spit on because they were like agitating it. 
Okay. I have never been spit on, thankfully. <laughs> That's good. Um, Austin wants to know how do they threaten the animals? So what are some of the things that they do, Sarah, that, um, that the animals don't like? Sure. So um, this isn't really threatening, but one of the ways they get the monkeys that they use to pick coconuts, um, they get them from the wild as babies. Um, so I'm not sure how they isolate them from the other monkeys and are able to get them, but that's actually illegal. Um, and so a lot of this monkey labor is illegal. Um, with the elephants to train them, a lot of the times they'll use things that are similar to whoops, sorry, whips. Um, and they also use hooks, which um, really hurts the animals. Yeah. Um, Miss Birmingham's class says, I would like to know if Peru has other indigenous languages that are still used today. Um, they have a language that was used in like the Incan civilization. It was called Quechua, but it's like, it's not really taught anymore, but people still like know it because they were taught it, but it's kind of like becoming a dying language. Yeah, so I think it is still used by some indigenous people, but just not, yeah, it's not taught as much as it used to be. So hopefully they'll continue teaching it to their children so it won't, we won't mm. lose it. Um, Emily wants to know why they ride the elephants. Sure, so um, a lot of the people that ride elephants don't really know that it's bad for the elephants. Um, it kind of just seems like a fun activity. You know, it's kind of like riding a horse. Um, obviously, it's, um, they do different things to train the animals, to train the elephants than they would do for horses. Um, but it kind of just seems like fun. Um, but usually when people ride elephants, they don't really know how the elephants might be hurt. So they have um, good intentions. They just don't know what the elephants have gone through. And I think they have in Thailand some places that are elephant rescues where mm -hmm. they treat the animals, maybe they're animals that can't go back in the wild, and you can yeah, so, see them but not ride them, but you can still ride. see them. Yeah, a big alternative to riding elephants is being able to wash them. Um, and so those sanctuaries are something they try to do a lot because the elephants can't go back in the wild. So it's a better alternative um, to the riding um kind of places where you ride the elephants. Um, are whales hunted there? I don't know if that was a question for Peru or Thailand um, off of the coast. I know whales are hunted in general. There's lots of rules about not hunting them, but sometimes they still are. Do you know, Michelle, at all, if that's common hunting in, off the coast of Peru? I don't think it's common in Peru. I know that they're very like, I know Peru, they do a lot of like fishing, but I don't think they like touch the whales. One other thing I remember too was in addition to Quechua, the other indigenous language in Peru is Aymara, I believe. Um, so both of those, but again, they're not, it probably in different different regions. Thank you guys for your great participation, all your questions. And I think that you remembered a lot based on the questions we asked you. And we hope that one day you get to travel and maybe you'll get to go to Peru and Thailand yourself and see some of these animals in person.